So uh, we'll do intentions, distractions, and intro question. Um, oh, here's Griff. Perfect. So did you guys know that like Facebook is down today and it's down so hard that it's like spilling over and affecting other services? I can't pick up my package from the Amazon hub. So I'm guessing it's related to that. And wow. Instagram isn't doing a thing. I can't get into anything on Instagram to share all my yeah. fun walking pics. So um, I'm curious to hear uh, when everyone got on Facebook or Instagram. And if if it went down, would you miss it? Uh, so I'll start out. Intentions for this call, obviously, uh, still driving towards the commons upgrade. Very important. Um, I'm going to try to file issues live as they come up today. So hopefully we can get stuff on the board as we go. Um, distractions. Uh, nothing in particular today. Answer to the intro question. I was... Uh, a freshman in college, the year that uh, Facebook came out. So I got on in 2004, back when it was still fun, just full of inside jokes. Now it's become like this terrible, well, I would not miss it. I think humanity would heal itself if it went away. Anyway, uh, and I will pass it to Nuggin. Yeah, uh, intentions just sync up. And um, about Facebook, I do have a Facebook account, but I haven't opened it since I think like 2013, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to at this point, I don't even want to open it to close it. So, but yeah, I wouldn't miss it at all if it disappeared tomorrow. And I'll pass it to Sam. Hello. Um, well, the only Facebook thing that I am using. And I don't like it to, to use it, but I guess that it's um, uh, the only way that I have to contact some of the people, which at the, at the end of the day, I also don't contact so much, is WhatsApp. Mm. But I didn't get that. Uh, it was down today, and I will not care uh, at all. Uh, the centralized services that I use very very heavily are Google, for example. Probably as everyone, but Google is will be so fucked up if it went down. Um, then intentions and distractions. I'll start with the distractions. I am in a in a coffee. Just uh, you you the call caught me here. So I am watching the people pass in the street. And I am also quite distracted because we have been starting the Hackathon project of the EAT Global. And it's a distraction in relation to Common Swarm and Common Subgrade. Uh, but at the same time, it's something that I would like to share as well in this call because there are, we are touching some things that are interesting for understanding better conviction voting. And we, we have advanced a lot during the last two, three days on the concept of conviction voting. And maybe it's, I, if I have a, a spot in, the, in this call, I would, lo I would like to show it up. Intentions. Uh, just uh, check in and see how everything is, is working with, with the rest of the team. I will pass it to Metaverde. Hey, uh, my intention is to catch up and figure out where I can best slide in. My distraction is I'm still walking home. I would not miss Facebook. I've been on it over 15 years. Um, my kid's youth pastor had we were in Alaska and everybody was like really far away from each other. So my kid's youth pastor had started, one of them, had started a Facebook group for the kids at Solid Rock. So I got on Facebook to help them make sure they had the permissions locked down and to keep track of what was going on in my community. Um, and let's see, I don't have my glasses on. I'll pass it to Griff. I would not miss Facebook at all. I, I got the platform from Facebook. Uh, I first joined Facebook yeah, back in the day, same thing, like 2004 or something like that. 
uh, and used it heavily while I was traveling. I've been nomadic for a decade and like met so many people all around the world and built an, a really nice Facebook network. And then uh, I was admin for uh, Omar Bam's Cryptos News Facebook group. Just, he just put me there to help out once in a while. I didn't really do anything. He reached 100K followers, and then every admin got an email that said, oh, sorry, yeah, your Facebook, you've been deplatformed, basically. Didn't tell us why or anything. And it's a very benign Facebook group, but it had just, you know, it's not like a crypto pump and dump group. It reached 100K followers because it was providing like normal news about like what's going on in Ethereum and crypto in general. And so after that, I stayed off to uh, Facebook. I mean, I lost so many friends there, like in one fell swoop. My whole network was was gone. Uh, people I will never be able to reconnect with because they were just random people I met at a permaculture farm, you know. And uh, so after that, I stayed off Facebook for a couple of years until um, it was and it was difficult because I used it for planning Burning Man, and it was really hard because a lot of Burning Man planning happens through Facebook. Uh, between intercamps and such, sharing resources is a very valuable tool. And uh, and so I ended up getting on when I got an Oculus. Uh, I got back on because they require it. I Actually, the Giveth Home has a couple Oculus account uh, uh, things. And to share the account so you can switch from account to account, you have to have the Oculus tied to some Facebook account. So it required me to get a Facebook account, which was annoying. So now I do have a Facebook, and I wouldn't miss it at all if they died. I guess Oculus would be a sad thing, but I'm sure they'd sort it out. Um, my girlfriend, however, would lose a lot of joy, is what she says, so that's too bad. Um, but, uh, but yeah, and so my intentions for the call are to uh, forget about Facebook. And uh, and uh, really push this uh, check in with everyone and really push this idea of trying to get a demo out for our community as soon as possible, um, making that a priority so that um, people see the progress, see progress that we're making and then uh, and really figure out what we can scope into that and what we can more specifically what we can scope out of a, of a demo for the community. And I'll pass it to Chewy. Thanks, Riff. Um, intentions, uh, I want to uh, think with, uh, with the comment swarm, see, uh, see any, any updates. And also, um, I, I would like to just like uh, put a little bit of uh, perspective in uh, like some of the limitations that, that uh, the working groups have been having uh, because of funding proposals and stuff like this. So right now we're like in the middle uh, with, uh, especially with new contributors. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to, uh, uh, I would like to talk a little bit about that so that uh, there's some awareness, especially uh, regarding when the comments upgrade is gonna be ready. Um, so yeah, and no distractions uh, today. I'll pass it to, uh, I'll pass it back to you, Bradley, because I don't know who, who went already. Let's see. Uh, I will pass it on to uh, Zeptimus, who was the first one here today. Thanks, Bradley. Uh, yeah, my, my intention is, is, is to ask like, if there's any way like, to get the link of the boat that passes, because yeah, it, it's a bit buggy, and Sam told me like he's running an, an next time note, and yeah, he just showed me the picture. But the thing is like for transparency sake, like we should post it somewhere. And yeah, if that's possible, that'd be nice. And regarding Facebook, yeah, I also like everyone I created the account very in the early stage. Uh, the Facebook as a, as a platform, I'm not using it, um, but yeah, I'm using WhatsApp and Instagram. And I mean, I wouldn't miss any of those. I feel like people would just move to another platform and, and that's cool. So yeah. And I do not have any distraction. I'll pass it to Juan. Yeah, um, my intention is to sync with you guys. And yeah, I wouldn't mind if, if like, um, like the information on Facebook um, got deleted or something. It's just like some pictures and 
I don't know. I am not very um, hold on to to like um, those kind of souvenirs. I like um, always to be mindful in the present. And um, I will pass to Nugan. Did you go? I think. Yes. Yes. I went already. Okay. Then. Yeah, I, um, think, uh, I think we got everybody. Okay. All right, so let's run through um, status updates on the stack first quickly. Um, Chewie has some things to say, and then we can go into uh, uh, Sam had a demo to share. Um, I unfortunately have a, a hard stop at noon today, but I don't think I'll, yeah. So, so I got to get out um, at the end of the hour, but you guys can keep talking. Um, anyway, so status updates, augmented bonding curve, I did not make any progress on the bug fixes myself. <laughs> I know that Nugan has already tried it as well. I I did not uh, open it yet. I mean, uh, I, I have been really obsessed with uh, this other idea that I will share later. Uh, it's more like a research thing, so... Um, it's something that we have to do. It's the next thing to do uh, when when we uh, when we are available to do that. Uh, I am Paulo is not here now, but uh, I am in Barcelona with Paulo, and we usually have this track record of when we are uh, in Barcelona together. We work a lot. Probably this week is is going to be similar to the other ones and next uh, common swarm call we will bring a lot of new things but there are no actual updates on the augmented bonding curve or the t convert um, the the good news is that the they are there are only two things that are remaining uh, one is setting up this one this thing and the other is setting up gardens so it can get um, a token that is not the gardens token itself. They are the only two things that we need to do in order to have a functional common upgrade. And if on the top of that we are the, the voting aggregator, the, the hook voting aggregator, we will we, we will be set for having the, the common subrate on the 5th of November, which was the initial date that we were uh, thinking on having the, the upgrade. So, so for, yeah. for the bonding curve specifically, I know Nuggin wants to get his hands dirty with smart contracts. I mean, do we want to let him take a crack at it and try to integrate those bug fixes that, that, um, that, um, uh, Brett put, pointed out. Well, uh, just do a pull request and and we can see it together. But should okay. Nuggets, would, would you be interested? I take a look at, of course. Yeah, thanks. Do you have that link to Brett's um to Brett's Notion doc? Um, I think no. I, can you can you send it to me, Bradley? Or yeah, I suppose it's somewhere. It. It's it's in that group chat that I uh, added you to. So oh, okay, we'll, so it's there. Okay, then then it's great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So is there any news with the config dashboard? Uh, where the voting should start? Uh, is the config dashboard a question for Nuggin? Or grief, Nagan or grief. Sorry again. I was. Uh, what did you say? Do you have any any info on the config dashboard? Um. I think that's like the last topic. I, I don't know. I feel like you're jumping. We have like a a Google Doc shared, and that's like the last topic. But I mean, yeah. we can jump forth if there if there's nothing else on the bonding curve, but. No, no, the, the, there is nothing else on the bonding curve or the, the rest of the things are already 
um, let's say the migration tools is already working. The this uh, the other thing I don't know which which it was. The IBM CRISPR is already working. So the only two things that, uh, but I already say that the only two things that are missing for the common upgrade as we were imagining it are uh, having a good interface front end for gardens and the bonding group. But there are no news on this this week. I am just asking for the commons config, the config dashboard, to understand which is the process, uh, because it's going to be after the commons grid, so. Yeah. Uh, oh, like, what's the timing? Um, I would, we just got a major milestone on the, um, to where you can actually submit GitHub issues. And I would say we'll probably have like a soft launch of uh, of, of Pram Party. So not this week, but next week. And then I would assume we'll really, depending on the how, how people are using it and if it makes sense and there's nothing major that we have to fix before going strong. I would say that we're, we'll end up with parameters that would set us on about November 15th. Okay, so it's a, li a little bit more delayed than we were thinking. Uh, we were thinking on launching no 5th of November. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then it's it's going to be the end of the year, but not the year that we were thinking of, right? Yeah, <laughs> we're right on time, off by one hour. Okay. All right. I think that. Yeah, I think that there are not more more updates this week in relation to the things that we were saying that we were going to do. I actually did go through the notes and kind of follow, like there's follow-ups to everything we talked about last week here. So for gardens, we were talking about doing, uh, testing the gardens in XDI. Were we able to pull that out? At the, at the end, what we can do is to use, I mean, the only problem with the migration tools on Rinkeby is that it cannot create votes after uh, the, the, I mean, the, it's it's something that we don't have to test actually. So we can just do all the tests and everything in in Rinkeby, and then have a lot of care that uh, what we have tested in Rinkeby, it will work for next day. That's it. Um, I mean, we should probably have a full test on next day, though, right? Yes. I mean, why yes. not? Yes, 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 totally. But the the thing is that. We were seeing that as a big problem because in some way uh, it was not a problem. <laughs> uh, we just realized that uh, it is not blocking anything. Uh, the, the, the Oracle is not working on, on Rinkeby. It's just, okay, it, we cannot create new votes. That's it. So all the rest of the things we will test there, and once we have everything as it should be, we do a kind of release candidate or next day, and, and that's it. Perfect. Cool. That sounds good. And you're saying, well, is there anything else on gardens? Uh, um, no, that was just the, the one follow up was gardens. Um, and, yeah. Cool. So, so the migration, the migration tool is done. It's been tested and everything works. I mean, it it is not tested because it had to be tested in in XDI in order to test it properly. But yes, okay. it's it it works. I mean, we have been testing with other oracles, and and. The, it, for this specific case, and um, it is it is working. It's just that we cannot uh, say that it's completely tested because uh, the version on on Rinkeby is a different one. 
but it it will it, it's it's already uh, I will say that we can put a check in in this. Okay, cool. Because I have that on another board as well, so so I can kill it. And the um, EVM CRISPR. It's also that... yeah. It's also done. All the all the new things that we are going to add is it's for other uh, things or just we keep improving it. But in the terms of um, in the terms of common swarm, it's it's already done. Nice. Then, okay. um, no, sorry. Go ahead. We already covered config dashboard, right? Is there anything on config dashboard anyone else wants to know about? All right. So it sounds like we actually just need to move specifically towards like the um, release planning more than code fixing. I mean, obviously there's still some things left to be done, but uh, kind of time to pivot towards release, which is exciting. Um, so Sam, when you're with Paolo this week, are you planning to do some of this, like uh, building a release candidate and, and doing some of these end-to-end -end tests? We, I, this week what we can do is the, is the bonding curve. I don't think that we will have more. Oh, obviously we are going to be working all the time, <laughs> but we, Sure. I would like to go into the part in which I, I, I explain what we are doing because uh, I think that you are going to understand why why we are uh, so excited about about these things. I think that the research part of the, uh, the, this week we are go going to do more research than other than any other thing. Still, we we need to fix the the bonding curve. And, this is the next step of all, all of that. So uh, for this week, I will I, I will say that we are going to do few things in relation to the bonding. Okay, sounds good. Um, it would be really cool to make sure that we have at least like the most basic version of a commons upgrade with no special things like, you know, ready to go. And the, so that the community, because I feel like there's a lot of TC vibes and I don't know, Zeptimus, sorry, Zeptimus, you could back me up or Wonka or anyone else about like, just like being scared that, you know, this stuff isn't ready yet. Then we don't, you know, we couldn't upgrade if we wanted to yet. And that's like um, a challenge. So I don't know. I don't know if it's possible to just make sure to not be tar continue at least continue our focus on the November fourth deadline and make sure that we have something for November fourth, no matter what, uh, that can be upgraded to. And then, you know, uh, I, I don't know. That would be that would make me feel a lot more comfortable because these last minute delays are bound to happen. You know. Uh, and if if uh, I don't I don't think common swarm needs to be the delay, it shouldn't have to be the delay. I I agree. I I agree. Uh, it's just uh, <laughs> it's just that this week we are on on this uh, specific project that it's not going to last uh, more more than uh, more than necessary, but. Um, it's just that this week we are not that available as as much available as uh, in other weeks. Mm. But I agree that uh, we should not be the delay of of, yeah, of the commons. Yeah, maybe on um, on Thursday we can talk through the release candidate and uh, in our call on Thursday maybe we can maybe maybe we can already have. Whether it's from Nugget and I or you and Paolo, we can get the Bon and Curse stuff addressed. And then um, by Thursday, just focus on what it will take to get the release candidate ready and, and what the testing plan is. 
Okay. Um, yeah. what, what, what about keeping this this Thursday and just uh, do the other Thursdays? But, um, since this 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 week we are not that available, maybe it it will be better just to skip it and and have the update on the next Monday. We can also use the Thursday as a king station for the one. Day. Um, I'm hesitant yeah. to just cancel Thursday because we, we do need like more coordination time than this one hour a week. Um, but if you have another time that you'd like to suggest, uh, open to hearing it. Nah, if, if we work on the bonding curve on Thursday, it's, it's, it's better. Um, I just okay. wanted to, to be working on that on, on whenever it, it was more yeah better but uh, again if, if, I, we, if we just say on thursday then it's on thursday so again uh, i think between nugget and i we might be able to get those bonding curve uh at least some prs out by thursday so that sam you have the best understanding of what the technical path is for each of these elements to work together is so i would prefer to allow you to just focus on that because uh, I don't quite grasp end to end yet, like what each deploy looks like and and things like that. You know, um, I can help put together a checklist, but I, I we need you to help us, like help me or someone else figure out what that deploy checklist looks like. You know, things like that. So anyway, um, if, okay, if we can okay. still talk, yeah, if we can still talk Thursday, I, I will do my best to get PRs in on this uh, bonding curve stuff. Okay, and I think perfect. Nugget wants to help out too. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, so I think we're good there. Let's let's move on. Um, Sam has some stuff he wants to show, but first let's do uh, let's let's have Chewy. Are you still here? Chewy's here. Yes. Yes. Turn it over to you. Okay. Um, well, it's it's uh, uh it has. Uh, something to do with uh, what was being discussed with uh, deadlines. Uh, I just wanted to uh, uh, bring this up because uh, I know that in some proposals like um, like the 75% uh, governance give back and, and, and stuff like this, uh, I know that they take a lot of time and it's, uh, it's not that it's like easy or difficult for the common swarm, it's just that uh, by this uh, uh, like right now, especially like in in, in comps, we are uh, uh, we are having like a, a lot of blockers to uh, keep uh, uh, like organizing projects and and being able to uh, funnel like uh, new contributors, and it, it's like a very like awkward uh, point because um, we're we're starting to get a lot of people, but we have like nowhere to like guide them or, or any projects that like to assign uh, them. Uh, so I just wanted to bring this up uh, just so that uh, in case there, there are any like changes or, or proposals that, uh, that uh, like spin around uh, time. Um, yes, I, I, I wanted to just to suggest uh, for this to be like, a, maybe like a flag that can be raised. No, it's like, okay, so this is what we can do. And if people feel safer, like doing this, it's fine, but it's probably going to take more time. Um, so just, uh, just like some, some, uh, like, uh, awareness on that, on, on that part of it. Um, uh, but I feel that the November 4th, uh, deadline is, uh, works, works pretty good. So hopefully, uh, and if everything turns out well, uh, we can help not to, uh, delay that as, as, as uh, like stewards or, or just uh, working groups uh, contributors. Um, but yeah, pretty much, uh, pretty much everything else uh, was covered in, in, in this point. And, and uh, yeah, well, uh, that, that's it. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks, Chewy. Um, one quick question that I have about November 4th, are we going to face more distractions with uh, losing time to the Lisbon conference? Um, in between now and then, 
Is anyone here going to Lisbon? I am finally not. Okay. Unless, so it sounds like no, a real... I, 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 am, I am finally not. It's okay. Like... <laughs> no. So Sam won't lose any focus. Griff's not going to lose any focus. Okay, that's good. Great call, man. Yeah, I'm not going to Lisbon, though. Great, great, great looking out. Cool. Um, excellent. So November 4th. I think we can do that. Uh, looks like we're close enough. Uh, all right. Sam, do you want to share? Uh, you, you said you had something to share? Sure. Uh, let me share the screen. Do, do you see my screen? Yes, I will stop sharing mine, too. Okay. Uh, hold time, boy. Uh oh. I see your yeah, cursor. I, I see your cursor, and that's it. Uh oh. Yeah, it's just a black screen. How much time do I have? We have 25 minutes left in the call. Okay. And there is nothing else that we want to talk about. I think we covered the I guess other. The only thing Oh. Yeah, Nuggin, you didn't. Did, were you still blocked on the TC convert stuff, or is that all? Was that all? Yeah, I'm. I'm still. I'm still blocked if you news other stuff. But I wanted to talk to Vitor and and Fabio about that. Like like you said, I think if if Sam is also so busy, it's not not worth uh, mentioning and bothering with that since it's just a re React stuff mainly. Okay. But yeah, Fabio. Do, do, during the Thursday hack, hack uh, session, we can. I, I will prefer to focus on the uh, smart contract, but we can also talk about the home. Yeah, sure. If we have time, great. That's, that's yes. Okay. So I wanted to share with you something. Uh, do you hear me well? I think that maybe oh, this is really. uh, the workplace. Uh, Okay. Yeah, I am going inside. Maybe. In the meantime, with the half life, and I come back to you in one minute. Sorry, I missed. The last thing you said. Okay, I I cannot go inside, so um, I I will just uh, I think it's it's going to be more calm now. Um, so I I have been working on the conviction voting uh, research on how it, on how making it more easy to understand and more easy to work with. Um, and I would like to share with you how it looks like. Basically, conviction has two parts. One part is the part that is the king. The other is the part that you are adding it to. So, uh, if you just reduce the amount of tokens that you have, we will see how is the case. This is how uh, we are speak. leaking. Oh, come on. Wait a sec. I think that you should see it now. Yeah, no, yes. Okay. Yeah, we see it. Okay. Okay. So, um, basically, we are changing some parts of conviction voting and how conviction is um, defined 
and how the critical formula looks like. Okay, so bear with me, I am going to start with the very first things and then we go constructing. Just before, just for context, before you dive in, is this going to, is this what you're, are you going to implement this in the next version of conviction voting that the TC might use? No, not yet. No. This is going to be, no. uh, it's an independent project, only for research purposes. Uh, we are implementing okay. conviction, conviction vote with superfluid. Uh, superfluid okay, is so a so the parameter stuff doesn't need to change at all? No, not at all. Great. Uh, it, it is just like uh, taking some time in order to make things better than they are right now, but without having to compromise to make them better. Just, uh, like writing up a paper, let's say. Maybe the version two guides we have this, but um, it, it didn't change so much. But it's much way easier to, to explain right now. Uh, this is the. Let's say that we are not going to talk about computer anymore. Maybe I, I should start here. We can start talking about funding vessels. A uh, vessel is a uh, part of the land, uh, a channel that it has in order to get water from the soil. So this is a real photo of a plant on the microscope and you can see how it is fully performed with these vessels. There are uh, cells and bigger vessels and you can see this as uh, you could be seeing this as proposals as well. Uh, imagine that a proposal is getting a stream that is very little at the beginning and then the stream grows because this part of the plant is required is requiring more more liquid, more more water. So we can talk about the fun streams of the projects as vessels. And um, how we how those vessels are, are growing or drinking depends on how much uh, how, how much uh, tokens we are staking on them or how much uh, the plant is signaling that this part should be uh, more funded or less funded. So, um, are you able to post uh, this? Are you able to post this link in a, a channel so we can see? Yes, sure. It is. A, it is a still a, a going, a going work in progress. Work in progress thing. Yeah, I can share it on the cafe. I I love trees. I actually grew up on a tree farm, so I'm excited to see where you're going with this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, how much it so the the formula in order to know how much water is going to go through it, which is the same. Uh, how much funds are going to be flowing from the common pool into the each one of the projects that there are out there? It is going to be based on the available, uh, available amount of funds multiplied by the beta, which is the ending limit that you, are, you already know. It's part of the parameters of, it's the same parameter that this is, is working right now. So this is the, in some, in some sense, uh, if you know the amount of funds that we have, it's a 20% of, the, of them, something like that, right? And then we have this scary formula here, but it's not that difficult. All this part here is the total stake tokens. And we multiply them, well, we divide them by the amount of conviction, or in that case, uh, the 
the amateur or on the PVT. I, I think that I just changed the name right now. The aperture, the aperture of the vessel. So uh, the aperture of the vessel is following the amount of tokens that there are staked. This is another another thing that is important to understand. Um, over time, if you say if you mark with the token that you want to have a vessel that is uh, 100 of diameter, um, you are you are you are signaling it through taking 100 tokens of diameter. So. It's going to take some time in order to grow, uh, as well as it takes some time in order to drink when you are removing this support, as conviction voting does. But um, you can see this part here, like uh, the the amount of the tokens divided by the amount of conviction that you have right now in that in this one proposal, and. This gamma here is the quorum or the mean threshold. Uh, so all together makes uh, you, you know which is the amount of request of, of of funds that you can get in one month of funding. And all of this is changing all the time, except for the constants that are beta, gamma, and uh, the rest of the things are changing all the time. So the amount of, of tokens that you are receiving, the stream that, that you are receiving is also changing. But it's fine. It's not like you are requesting a fixed amount every month. The amount of, of funds that you are receiving, the, that the project is receiving, or the uh, working group is receiving, depends on the conviction that the community has on them. The, depends on the signals that the community is giving. They are doing a great job. If we give them some, some more funds, maybe they are going to do more things, or maybe not. If not, then we are going to re remove the, the stake because the idea is to give the resources to the people who are going to make a better use of them and not from a centralized committee, but from a the signal of all the people who have tokens of the DAO. That's the idea of that, that. That was the idea of commission voting at the very beginning, and now it's the idea of this uh, vessel funding, or maybe we call it almost it's funding. We we will see. Uh, we uh, we accept uh, suggestion for name and in in terms of the opportunity the conviction. If, uh, I would like to hear three opinions here. Uh, you, you have been looking a good name for conviction, conviction during a lot of time. What do you think about it within this metaphor to call it Oper 2? Uh, Oper 2? I, I thought it was vessel funding, but can you say that again? I, you broke up just when you said the name. Okay, Operture. Operture. Overture? You mean like opening, like... Oh, Aperture? Aperture, Aperture Science. Aperture. Aperture. Uh, aperture. Okay. Sorry. Like, like, in film, like in photography, the Aperture? Yes. Like in the Portal video games, Aperture Science? I like the reference. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, the, it's the diameter of the of the vessel. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Which in yeah. in in all terms, it will be conviction. But mm. right now, it's uh, it's not the amount of stake tokens because you can put or withdraw when you want, right? Uh, it's the aperture that is there. If you have stake. If you are taking a lot of tokens, the aperture is going the aperture is going to grow. If you withdraw the tokens, the aperture is going to shrink. That's the idea. It's it's the same conviction, it's the same term. It, it's, the, it's the same concept. But
but applied to this metaphor. And the only yeah. change, and the only change that we did is that there was a dividing thing here that does not did not have any any sense, and now it's way 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 better. And this makes this interesting two-part uh, formula in which you have the amount of aperture that you are losing. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. The 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 shrinking um, mechanism of the plant that is trying to make them their their vessels uh, do not lose a lot of, of there is a part that is drinking the, the vessels and there is a part that is increasing them so the part that is shrinking them it shrinks them in a way that follows the exponential decay which is as well applied to many other things in nature here the concept of half life as well is related with aperture science um, it has a lot of applications in natural science and the best of course is that is that the beer force the thing that is on top of the beer the case using this exponential decay so the aperture of the vessels of all vessels of the funding vessels is going to decay in the same way that the beer force if there is a lot of beer force it's going to decay a lot but if there is it, it never the case uh, until the point that there are not right uh, somebody won an Ike Nobel Prize for demonstrating that so back into the Desmos this is the part that is ranking but on top of that we are summing the amount of uh, and if you don't do anything it's go, uh, the vessel is going to shrink but if people put some stake on the on the proposal, on the grant, or whatever you want to call it, if people put some, some stake, then something happens. There is this part that is activated. So what it means is that over time, if you wait enough, it's going to to the amount of tokens that you are putting it's the amount of tokens that you are putting which is something interesting it's like the aperture is uh, in the aperture in the future is the amount of fake tokens that there is right now that's the point of it. the uh, the stake tokens that there are right now are marking which is going to be the aperture of the vessel in the future. So we can combine them both and you have uh, how it works over time. There is a, uh, a part that is decaying, that is trying to shrink the vessel, and there is a part that is just putting energy into making it, making it grow. And that's it uh, about the mechanism. It's the same than conviction voting. Actually, this is the same formula than, that we are using for conviction voting, but instead of saying which is going to be the threshold, we are uh, isolating the West funds part. And this, the actual variable, this is the thing that you are going to receive more or less depending on the conviction that you have. And if I have some more time, I would like to share with some research that I have been doing in botany. Uh, there is the, the there are two kinds of 
tissues that are moving in a plant. There is the xylem and the flone and the phloem. The xylem is the one that is uh, moving the water and the, and the minerals. And this is what we are fighting right now as, as the vessels. And the other one is the one that is moving the things that are being made by the, by the photosynthesis. So you can see, if, if you consider that uh, Tao is a plant, you can see the xylem, all the mechanisms that are moving funds from the ground on, in order to provide all the parts of the of the DAO and the phloem it's like the internal work that the DAO is doing in order to transform the things that already have into an for the planet for the DAO itself. And there are two kinds of silent one that is doing the soft wood and the other that is doing the hard wood. The hardwood one is, let's say, a technical upgrade, and it is basically uh, instead of doing a very soft thing that it, when it dies, it just it is just lost. What it makes is when when this part of the of the DAO is is well, this part of the plant is dying, it transforms into into structure. So all the flowering plants are, most of the flowering plants are using these vessels and this is why they are so, so successful. And well, you, you have here a lot of links in order to go through all these uh, botany sources, uh, but do not lose these interesting images about how are the plants moving and how of obviously they are colored in in different in ways that make them very nice but look at how these vessels are working and are interconnected between them they are different kinds of uh, tissues the tissues that move the water which are the xylem the xylem island and the others that are the flowing. Thanks, Sam. Um, yeah. We, we have just a couple minutes left. Yeah. Um, so I, I really like the analogy at a high level. Unfortunately, um, your video is coming through very compressed, so I can't read any of the text. <laughs> <laughs> But if you're willing to share the draft, I'd really like to, to take a closer look. And I'm sure other people in the community would, too. Well, he shared it in the cafe channel. Yeah. I think that's sure? where it was, right? Yes. OK, OK. I have to find the cafe channel then. OK, great. Thanks, Sam. Does anyone have questions for Sam? What's the uh, fl flowem? I mean, if the conviction voting is the asylum, what's the flow in? <laughs> oh, they are thinking on it. Maybe they are the tokens. The... We will see. I was thinking it's the market, the market appreciating the value that you're producing, but I don't know exactly how to, how to navigate that. It is the structure that is moving the resources that the DAO is producing. It's external resources, but the resources that it's producing. So we will see. I think that it's pretty inspired with the nature because uh, it is super uh, intelligent. It is years mm -hmm. and years of research <laughs> that in, is, uh, in 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 the commons model, it's definitely the bonding curve, right? Because as the bonding curve, it it acts as it would it would give everybody a little bit of extra who's holding the tokens, and and it would fund the com the common pool. 
and it's pulling money or pulling resources from the from the environment like you know the sun like the market no maybe not <laughs> I think we lost you, Sam. Or we lost me. No, I, I, I still hear you. Yeah, yeah. you hear Griff. Okay. Oh, well, that's good. Well, we're at the top of the hour. I, I, I know I have to run. I, and Bradley, you have to run as well, right? Thanks, everyone. Good to catch up. So in the, in the meantime, we've got a couple of folks who raise their hand, including myself, on bonding curve stuff. And then we'll get Sam focused on, uh, we'll support Sam on kind of the release path uh, for now to November 4th.